Hello and welcome again. In this video, I will try something new and rarely seen in the engraving world. The sculpting technique is one of the oldest and most complicated and time-consuming techniques out there. It would be my first time to attempt something like this on a watch clasp, so I decided to do it on an aftermarket clasp first. This design will have 24 karat gold background inlays from solid gold wire. That means that I have to cut backgrounds as deep as I possibly can. Instead of making computer design transfers, I decided to draw design directly with pencil. The first steps of cutting design are exactly the same as most of my other engravings and I can mirror the engraved lines on the opposite side very easily. The next big step for me was to remove backgrounds with different sets of burrs as deeply as possible. Normally at this stage I would inlay gold backgrounds, but due to fine details and a few tiny background spots it's just not possible. To get easier access to backgrounds I already start to shape metal with carbide punch giving elements and big bevels on both sides. After rough shaping, I use fine ceramic stone to remove tool marks and it allows me to see spots that still have to form in shape. After a few days of work, I started to inlay gold. As you might see that with added gold, negative space starting to look bigger. For undercutting background, I use needle shaped carbide point. Few elements appear darker because I used ferric chloride to etch stainless steel.
Rolex crown was another part of the experiment where I tested how much of fine detail I can achieve in fine wire inlays. At the very end of the project I decided not to engrave the sides of the clasp because I was working on this clasp for 8 days already. After I had finally managed to finish engraving, I decided to give gold a fine made texture by using old watchmaker sandblasting technique by hand. Due to low amount of energy in which sand grains hit the surface, only gold got the texture. This has been one of my most time consuming pieces I ever created. Over one and a half week of designing, drawing, cutting, sculpting and polishing, it has finally come to an end and I'm satisfied with the result. In future videos, I will definitely try to improve this interesting technique. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.